Text 63. Thus, I have explained to you knowledge still more confidential. Deliberate on this fully and then do what you wish to do. The Lord has already explained to Arjun the knowledge of Brahma Bhuta. One who is in the Brahma Bhuta condition is joyful. He never laments nor does he desire anything. That is due to confidential knowledge. Krishna also discloses knowledge of the super soul. That is also Brahman knowledge, knowledge of Brahman, but it is superior. Here the words as you like you may act indicate that God does not interfere with the little independence of the living entity. In Bhagavad Gita, the Lord has explained in all respects how one can elevate his living condition. The best advice imparted to Arjun is to surrender on to the super soul seated within his heart. By right discrimination, one should agree to act according to the order of the super soul. That will help one become situated constantly in Krishna consciousness, the highest perfectional stage of human life. Arjun is being directly ordered by the personality of Godhead to fight. Surrender to the Supreme Personality of Godhead is in the best interest of the living entities. It is not for the interest of the Supreme. Before surrendering, one is free to deliberate on this subject as far as the intelligence goes. That is the best way to accept the instruction of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Such instruction comes along through the spiritual master, the bona fide representative of Krishna. Text 64 Because you are my very dear friend, I am speaking to you. My supreme instruction, the most confidential knowledge of all, hear this from me for it is for your benefit. The Lord has given Arjun knowledge that is confidential, which is the knowledge of the Brahman, and still more confidential knowledge of the super soul within everyone's heart. And now he is giving the most confidential part of knowledge that just surrender on to the supreme personality of Godhead. At the end of the ninth chapter, he said, Man manaha, just always think of me. The same instruction is repeated here to stress the essence of the teachings of Bhagavad Gita. This essence is not understood by a common man, but by one who is actually very, very dear to Krishna, a pure devotee of Krishna. This is the most important instruction in all Vedic literature. What Krishna is saying in this connection is the most essential part of knowledge and it should be carried out not only by Arjun, but by all living entities.